I'm Hannah and welcome to my kitchen. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Hannah. I love this girl. <laughs> so tonight I was looking for a recipe in Taste of Home Easy Week Night Dinners to go along with some roasted potatoes on the side because I have a bunch of potatoes that I have to use. And I actually found a really cool recipe that's kind of an all-in-one dish. It's a skillet roasted lemon chicken with potatoes and it's an all-in-one dish in the skillet in the oven. But first I have one medium lemon. I'm going to grate about a fourth a teaspoon of the peel into this bowl right here because this is going to get rubbed onto the chicken. But I also need to slice this lemon and use that. So I want to grate the peel first. Okay, so then I'm going to slice this lemon into really thin slices. It's going to be really cool what we're going to do with this and how we're going to how we're going to bake this. Speaking of baking, my oven is preheated to 450 degrees. My lemons are sliced on this skillet. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil. You know that you cook all the time when your bottle of olive oil is bigger than your head. And then I'm going to lay down my lemon slices. They're totally going to slide when I show you, but that's what they look like. Moving on to the chicken, I have my lemon zest in here. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm going to mince two garlic cloves. I'm going to add a fourth a teaspoon of salt and an eighth a teaspoon of pepper. So I'm going to stir this all together. So this recipe calls for eight chicken thighs, but I'm doing breasts just because it's a little bit healthier. So I have two large chicken breasts that I cut into fourths. And I'm going to set these on top of my lemon. Uh, ooh, wine. I'm so excited because I finally get to have wine again while I'm cooking. I'm going to take this mixture, this lemon, garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm going to rub it on top of my chicken. And lastly, for my potatoes and my tomatoes, I have some fresh rosemary and these awesome scissors with like a billion scissors in one. So it's perfect for cutting herbs. I'm going to cut some rosemary. About a teaspoon of fresh rosemary. You can do this with dried, I just always prefer fresh herbs if it's available. About a teaspoon of olive oil in here. Tiny sprinkle of salt and pepper. Now this recipe also calls for eight cherry tomatoes, but I didn't have any, so I'm using just big tomatoes that I cut into slices. I have about two cups of tomato slices, so these are going to go on top of my chicken. This is like the total abridged version of this recipe. I'm just going to drizzle the potatoes with a little bit of olive oil. Try to mix it around with my hands. But then these potatoes are going to go on top as well. I love these potatoes because they're a trio of white, red, and purple potatoes. Purple potatoes don't taste any different, but they just look cool, so they taste better because they look pretty. This is ready to go in the oven. It's going to go in for about 25 to 30 minutes. Can I have one second. One second. So while that's baking, I'm going to make a salad. I make bomb salads. First, I just have some romaine. I have these marinated artichoke hearts. I'm going to put a ton of these in because they're so delicious. What's your favorite part, Jackson? The albis. The what? That. What? What is this? Albis. The olives? Yeah. So I'm going to put in some sliced black olives. I love, 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 love black olives. And then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. Or maybe a lot of cheese. Lastly, I have some red wine vinegar with olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this because of the marinated artichoke hearts. They add so much flavor, you don't need that much dressing. I'm going to toss this, and that's a simple, simple salad. It's always so delicious, though. Mmm. Mmm, okay? Yeah. What do you think? Liberty, you can have a dry piece of lettuce. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> This is super healthy if you do it with the chicken breast. It has very few ingredients, really simple ingredients, and not a lot of techniques to make it. It's super, super easy and just totally delish.